Hello, I am District 3 Commissioner Tarina Carthen, and welcome to this episode of District Dialogue. On May 14th, elected officials from the City of Douglasville and the City of Villa Rica joined the Douglas County Chairman and the Board of Commissioners to kick off the Census 2020 with an informational meeting at the Douglas County Courthouse. During this meeting, we received valuable information and learned the importance of making sure each citizen in Douglas County, Douglasville, and Villa Rica are counted. To ensure everyone is counted and to answer all of your questions, I have Planning and Zoning Manager Ron Roberts and Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones as my guests. Thank you all for joining me. Thank, Thank you, you for Commissioner. having us, Commissioner yeah. Carthen. So this is pretty special because this is the first time that I as an elected official will be involved with making sure that our citizens are really counted in mm -hmm. Douglas County. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure that the citizens understood the importance of the 2020 Census. So again, thank you for joining me and welcome. So we'll get right into it and I'll just start with you, Ron. What's the purpose of the Census? Well, it's required under the Constitution. Uh, in, uh, the first Census was taken in 1790 and it was the first time that the a nation, any nation, had used the enumeration of its people as a representation of the uh, voting populace. But it's more than that also. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's also a check-in of where we are as a society every 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the decennial census is very important for, for apportionment and uh, for a variety of other things as well. Okay. So now, I know I didn't tell the people who you are, but you are our planning and zoning director. So what does the Planning and Zoning Director of Douglas County do for the county? Well, uh, we have a lot of hats. Uh -huh. um, so I'm actually over code enforcement, business mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, licensing, planning and zoning. Mm -hmm. um, what we do is we just finished up a comp plan, which is required every five years. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so we did the comp plan jointly with the city of, of Douglasville, which is why this effort is so important too, working mm -hmm. with the cities mm -hmm. and, uh, and also uh, the census. So it's really important because it helps us to kind of map out what's going on in the community, but also it helps you in your role of helping to get a comprehensive plan of what the county looks like. Is that right? That's correct, Commissioner. Okay. It was so important that the data that's collected from the census it dictated actually for the next 10 years where we, as the citizens of Douglas County, want to focus our efforts mm -hmm. and uh, move towards uh, um, a variety of things that that, fu that are funded through the census activity. Mm -hmm. So, Chairman Jones, this too will be your first time being involved yes, in, the, in the details of getting the 2020 census kicked off. So how excited are you? I'm more than excited. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ecstatic right now. Mm -hmm. um, this is an opportunity that I'd like to win and this is a winning moment for us. Mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned earlier in our kickoff, there's no room for second place. Mm -hmm. And I believe that Douglas County will, uh, we will, We'll, we'll rise to the occasion during this moment. Mm -hmm. um, this is my first opportunity for, for county, mm -hmm. and I've never had an opportunity to do, to do this, but mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. And the purpose is aligned with $675 billion that will be allocated oh, wow. from federal government back to the local, to the uh, states, and also to the local communities for just uh, spending on certain things that are very important. Healthcare is number one, Medicaid, mm -hmm. Medicare, mm -hmm. transportation, infrastructure and uh, also uh, housing and all those things that are important to us as citizens. So it's so super important actually, is it has really, my eyes have, I'm wide open right now. My eyes are really wide open mm -hmm. because I didn't realize in many years ago how important how this, important. this census is, but right. uh, it's very important and I'm hoping that all our citizens will be on board with this effort. And, and leading up to that, tell me, why was it so important to work with the mayor of Douglasville and the mayor of Villa Rica to make sure the census kickoff was, was, was a success? Well, it's so important to me simply because of the collaborative effort between the two, mm -hmm. uh, between the cities, actually. Mm -hmm. And you know, of course, Douglasville is, our, is the um, center point of our county. Mm -hmm. Number one, it has the most uh, city, city uh, population is 35,000, mm -hmm. 15,000 mm -hmm. uh, citizens in um, Villa Rica. Okay. So of course I work directly with the mayors and, and mm -hmm. as the uh, mayor of Douglasville would say, mm -hmm. Rochelle Robinson, she said the city is in the county. Mm -hmm. So all the citizens mm -hmm. are uh, part of Douglas County right. and wanted uh, all of us to be at the table messaging, um, carrying the same message for our citizens as we move forward. 
So this, the, I'm so excited, uh, mm -hmm. and I believe that's the reason why it's so important that I worked uh, directly with Mayor Reese and Mayor Robinson on this uh, very significant project in, uh, here in Douglas County. Got it. Mm -hmm. So Ron, tell me, who else is it that you have to work with in order to pull this off for us? Well, um, I have a, we have a good team that we've been working with. Uh, so GIS, uh, mm -hmm. Ed Dean, um, uh, Tiffany Stewart Stanley to helping us do the outreach. We mm -hmm. may, uh, and also uh, Aaron Sherowitz from the from the city of Douglasville, who does the communications. But before we leave that, I did mm -hmm. want to comment this 16.7 billion just in the state, um, and that is has huge because it's wow. uh, you know there's 4.7 billion for the Medicaid, mm -hmm. as uh, as. As uh, Madam Chair mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, one billion uh, for transportation, as two point eight billion dollars out there for the state of Georgia, for the wow. SNAP food program, mm -hmm. and we are the seventeenth largest county out of one hundred and fifty nine, and we need to get people to understand that they we need our fair share so that we can be effective. That's true. That's true. Without being counted, then we will be slighted in order to give certain services to our constituents, right? That's correct. So it's so important that we do that, yeah. And yes. SNAP, that has to do with the food um, that's, in, that's in the correct. county, right? That's yeah, so those who are in need of assistance um, with food supplies and other things, um, the money that comes into the county helps with that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I tell you, I, I didn't know how important the census was until <laughs> I started doing my research and reading all of it. And uh, that was billions with a B, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, billions with a B. That's a, that's a lot of money and a lot of resources that can be um, put to good use. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times they are always, you know, people are always saying, oh, you know, you raise our taxes, you know, taxes go up. Well, we can kind of help to alleviate some of those taxes if you would do the census. <laughs> we, we, can, yeah. we, can we? Because then we could get our fair share of, um, of some of the resources that could come from this. Because That's true. Yeah, yeah we well, want everybody counted. One of the things that, that was said uh, when, when the uh, uh, representative from the census office was here mm -hmm. was that it was about $1,300 per person, which doesn't sound like a lot, but mm -hmm. if you take 100 people mm -hmm. and they aren't, getting out there and filling out the forms, yeah. that's a lot of money. That's, that's 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 right. Yes, that's absolutely. right. And um, I, I, I named the people that have helped us get get started working towards the Complete Count Committee, mm -hmm. but what I didn't name is, is the Complete Count Committee itself and, and why we need representation from everyone in Douglas County. Mm -hmm. um, we have an education subcommittee. Schools are a huge partner for that. Yes. Yes. We've yeah. got to get them on board. Yeah. Um, the faith-based subcommittee mm -hmm. getting getting that out there um, seniors uh, those are traditionally hard to uh, the traditionally undercounted are seniors um, mm -hmm. and nonprofits mm -hmm. nonprofits also work with a lot of the undercounted groups that we w really need to get out and, and get the word out to to um, to be counted. complete the census. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you um, since seniors are, are, are one of my um, my soft spots mm -hmm. because I do Meals on Wheels and so you're right a lot of seniors I mm -hmm. know now that um, the majority of the census will be online is that correct and so yes, seniors a lot of the seniors don't have access to computers um, so you know being able to have someone to go out to their homes and actually sit down with them with mm -hmm. the paper forms um, that's going to be a huge undertaking. It, it is. Uh, we, oh, we, the seniors are, are, are uh, uh, an issue, mm -hmm. but we also have we have some census tracts within this county that, uh, according to the American Commuter Survey, which is done every five years, mm -hmm. not not as robust as the census, but still, uh, we have some census tracts in this county that that report 20 percent do not have access to the internet. And in a, a, a format, a digital format like the Census 2020 is wanting to go to, that's mm -hmm. a big, big issue that's a for big, us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of people. Oh, yes. That's a lot, a lot of, people. of people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's, that's one of the things. But I am um, very optimistic after seeing the senior picnic that was just held yes, of all the active seniors that we do have in Douglas County. So hopefully we can get some of them to come aboard and help us uh -huh. to reach that population. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so tell me this, um, the slogan for Census 2020 is let's count. Mm -hmm. Why let's count? Well, that's that's our slogan. Yes. And, and, uh, you want to speak to that, ma'am? Well, I, I, it's it's uh, very important that we all be counted. So we thought that just something short and sweet, without mm -hmm. a lot of jargon, with the help of the citizens, mm -hmm. or it would facilitate and motivate everyone mm -hmm. to count. So we mm -hmm. just said, let's count Douglas, and that's let's important. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're hoping 
that our campaign will become contagious throughout um, this whole entire county and everybody will be on board. Our goal is to put emphasis on all our key uh, events that are coming up, are coming mm -hmm. forward, mm -hmm. just to be out there with our pom-poms and cheering, mm -hmm. saying how important this effort is. So it's, it's, it's huge. It's, it's uh, going to be uh, a real long campaign, which mm -hmm. we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. And then we're excited that, and I won't steal Ron's thun thunder, but the, <laughs> one of the sites for the census will be here in Douglas County. So I'll let you chat oh, on awesome. about that a little later, which will be great. So that mm -hmm. uh, will allow that canvassing opportunity to maybe go to our seniors and hit their doors mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and just maybe have our hopefully run where we take computers to the doors and complete those, uh, their uh, census reports online for the seniors. If they don't have computers, can you, and I don't want to steal the interview, mm -hmm. but what is the plan? Yeah. Well, uh, the, I, we have a timeline from okay. the census, and it involves uh, getting out and verifying the actual uh, addresses, which mm -hmm. is very important, locating the addresses uh, in the first iteration, uh, making the public aware. We've got a slogan. We're putting together the complete count committee, okay. which will be June 20th mm -hmm. in Citizens Hall. If you see this and you want to be involved, mm -hmm. please come to that. Okay. Um, the actual uh, canvassing, which will be uh, going door to door. Right. I'm not sure how the census is going to do it, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, but I know that they, they, the people that do not respond back mm -hmm. will, will get a knock on the door. But I understand from talking with the census staff that mm -hmm. they'll have six iterations, six times, six different touching mm -hmm. points from now until April 1st, 2020, which is Census Day, okay. to respond back to the census. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, that's, that's key. Uh, one, of the, one of our partners that mm -hmm. you asked about also, I, I, I got to mention the libraries. Mm -hmm. Libraries are a national partner for us. Mm -hmm. um, they're just, they're huge. It's estimated that about 90% of the hard, the really hard to count citizens are within a five miles of the library. Wow, and, wow, that's great. And so, I mean, mm -hmm. they can come to the library. I was actually went to the Dog River Library yesterday with my daughter, mm -hmm. and I, I noticed that they had like Wi-Fi checkouts mm -hmm. that people can do. So I don't know, as oh, I wow. start the Discord okay. with the libraries, uh -huh. and, and we have that June 20th meeting, uh -huh. Uh -huh. boom, then we can really kind of get a game plan on how we can reach out in that radius around the library. Oh, that's yes. excellent. I'm, I'm, this is a plug for Chapel Hill in District 3. I'm advocating for a library now, so mm -hmm. it won't be here by the time April first comes around, but it's good to know how mm -hmm. important a library is and making sure that we have a complete count of our citizens. Absolutely. Um, can you tell us why is the census conducted every 10 years as opposed to every year? Why, why, why every 10 years? Uh, I, I I think that the real reason is because it was mandated in, uh, I can't remember, section in the Constitution. Okay, no. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Almost uh -huh. like page one, oh, okay. verse two, <laughs> uh -huh. um, was that it would, that there would be a decennial census. Mm -hmm. um, but as I mentioned, we have uh, the American Commuter Survey, which checks mm -hmm. in uh, with, with the population um, every five years. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So that kind of gives planners like mm -hmm. myself and, and uh, other people that are dependent upon that research data, mm -hmm. some some direction uh, on where things might be going. Uh, okay. In this day and age, I don't think we might want to wait 10 years to see what what's, what's That's really That's exactly what I was on. thinking. So why every 10 years? Why yeah. not every year? It seems like, I, I know I've been in Douglas County now almost 20 years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it has totally changed yeah. just in 20 years. So, I, I, you know, and really from year to year it changes. Population changes, the diversity changes. So, um, so I just wondered why every 10 years? Why not every five years? Why not every, but it's good to know that there is that midway point where um, people like yourself who are helping us to plan and, and realize where the growth is mm -hmm. um, to give us like a leeway or headway to, to where we need to go in the county and what things we need to be advocating for. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So now, Dr. Jones. Yes. Will you be out knocking on doors telling people to come? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. I believe that you will put on, put on your running shoes. Put on our shirts and <laughs> get to the doors and make sure uh, that our citizens understand the importance the of the census of and mm -hmm. how it will benefit our county at large yes. once that you know everyone participate and then we will uh, again we will reap uh, the harvest at the end and exactly. I believe that they understand that'll be key 
and that's that's why we're messaging and campaigning so mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, uh, Douglas County is ahead of the curve right now. Mm -hmm. It's my understanding in comparison to other counties here in Georgia that we've kicked off and mm -hmm. I mean we had some hoopla and I'm so excited about oh, that and I'm we're listening. moving it and we just uh, I'm just so pleased that uh, Ron Roberts is leading this effort. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly he's the chairman of this committee to move us forward and whatever I need to do, I will mm -hmm. do it. Uh, to, to make sure that we're successful. I'm yes. really excited about one thing, which is real time count. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to look at a point, uh, and we could, if it says we have just at 54% of our threshold, mm -hmm. we can pivot, continue to do what we need to do to reach mm -hmm. my personal goal, mm -hmm. and I won't share with the public because it's probably. We all probably know it's 100%. <laughs> we know you, we know you. So I said, <laughs> but. but and I'm so excited about that. We, Ron can mm -hmm. pull mm -hmm. up the report and say mm -hmm. we had 54 percent or 64 mm -hmm. percent, and, and we didn't have that um, act ability when, no, in no. previous years. So oh, that's wow. excellent. So the technology has really technology has advanced, and uh -huh. we're really excited. And that's, that's awesome. and, 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 and Madam Chair is correct. We we will be able to see what uh, what the census tracts are, are coming back, mm -hmm. and um, the. Uh, program that, that we reviewed on May 14th. Mm -hmm. showed, Ed showed a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. um, I love the word pivot. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to really focus that and hopefully we'll have, you know, June 20th, we'll start getting the people that we can help us mm -hmm. to do that pivot mm -hmm. attack and say, okay, you know, we really need to focus on on this census tract in this area. In this mm -hmm. What resources do we have in that area? Okay, uh -huh. we've got these schools, we've got these libraries and we, we, mm -hmm. let's, let's Let's get those numbers up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really would help. Uh, it's, uh, it really assists with our strategic efforts because everything is about that strategic uh, mm -hmm. planning piece. And right. we've already, the planning phase is already activated, mm -hmm. but it allows us again to shift, pivot, whatever it needs to do because mm -hmm. Ron knows I'm going to be saying, Ron, we want, the, bi we we want, want the big numbers. And, 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 and we do. we'll be excited. I, what mm -hmm. did we, 10 years ago, we hit what, our 74%? We were at 74% 10 okay. years ago, and okay. in, in the 2000 wow. census, when I look back at it, it was 80%. So we okay. we need to turn it around and go the and go other back direction. Have to go the yeah. other direction. Yeah. Yes. We got to go the other direction drastically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I believe, you know, but I believe though, with with us doing this so early in the mm -hmm. game, we mm -hmm. will be able to because a lot of times it's just getting people comfortable with what's about to come. You oh, know, yes, allowing absolutely. them to, you know, to have someone that's in their community mm -hmm. uh, that they know, and somebody's asking them, "Hey, have you done your census?" Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so so just getting that conversation and that comfortability around around the, the, um, the census coming, I, I think is key as well. I, I, I think that's really good. And if I, I'll just share this, that's mm -hmm. one of the things that the complete count committee members are gonna need to know. Mm -hmm. that we need to make sure that everyone understands that the, the mm -hmm. census is 100% safe and secure. Nothing that is gathered is, is used. Nothing being hidden. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Uh, there's no hidden agenda or anything. Mm -hmm. it is, good. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. Um, and making sure that we get that, that level of participation, that level of comfort mm -hmm. with what the census actually is and people understand um, this is going to dictate what happens for the next 10 years. Right. One, you know, one of the historically undercounted um, groups is children under five. Mm -hmm. So those children under oh, five wow. are, oh. you know, they, that's, that's their ten, next 10 years of them right. being in school. That's their 10 years of school exactly. programs exactly. and everything else. So. Right. Right. Very important. That is very important, yeah, because by the time they're able to be counted again, well, they're almost out of school. They'll be 15 years mm -hmm. old. Right. So, yeah, so definitely we want to make sure that population is not undercounted this time. That's yes. correct. Yeah. So now there, there's been a little bit of, um, I would say, <laughs> grumbling in the water about a census question whether or not you have to be a U.S. citizen. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. so we're waiting on the Supreme Court to, to make that ruling. Um, but so far at this point, um, do you have to be a citizen to be counted in the census? The, the motto of the census is count everyone once, only once, and in the right location. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the motto. Mm -hmm. um, it is estimated uh, that from what I was reading about that particular immigration question mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you brought up is, some six, it's estimated some 650,000 Georgians would not answer that particular question if it was on the census. Mm -hmm. Right. And, mm -hmm. and that's, and those are people that are, that need to also need to be counted. Right. And that's where, right. you know, you, you really, we need help in the Hispanic, yeah. in the, um, in the uh, English, uh, um, second language, second, second language, language yes. group uh -huh. mm -hmm. to, to really help us to get the word out. You know, we can get things out in, 
in various periodicals like Mundo Hispanica and, mm -hmm. and kind of, um, uh, some items like that. But we need people on the complete count committee that are representing mm -hmm. the community and it's exactly. specifically that mm -hmm. that community yes. because of that that because issue. That. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's it's I guess it's safe to say that count everybody, count them once, count them where they are. Mm -hmm. So um, well, t well, tell me this: Do you have to have an address to be counted? There are, is there is a uh, effort made uh, for the homeless. That's yes. what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, we've, we've kind of talked about that with staff internally. I know mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. there has been some, uh, through the courts and some other activities, there's been grants that have been pursued where they've oh. actually have okay. recently gone out and, 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 can't, and talked to homeless and identified mm -hmm. those areas. And I think that um, that's a lot of what the canvassing effort will take, okay. mm -hmm. the, okay. the boots on the ground that the mm -hmm. census will provide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, from our efforts, we're, we're dependent on addresses. Right. Mm -hmm. And we have a, we're very blessed that we have a very good report back from mm -hmm. the uh, LUCA, which is the, um, wow. yeah, the, the, the census addressing okay. activity that took place over last year. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, Georgia was one of the highest states mm -hmm. to report back. Um, wow. Wonderful. So we have, that means we have the best addresses, which means that we have no excuses to get those high numbers. That's right. That's great. That's great. That's great news, right? Right. It you makes it a, a little bit more comforting for you all to know mm -hmm. that you have the addresses and the places where you mm -hmm. can target and, and go and go hit and make sure that people are answering the census. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so tell me this: if um, you had, you know, a, a magic wand and you can wave it. What would you, what resource or what tool would you need? I know the county chairman's in right next to you, so you could, you could make your request. <laughs> yes. What, what one would you wave to make sure that we had 100% That's a participation? A, like, like what would Ron do? Uh, that, you know, I just want to see the, the community come out. Okay. I want to see the community yeah. come mm -hmm. out. Yeah. I want people to see this. I want uh -huh. them to be aware of it and understand the importance of it. And, and, and I want good representation across Douglas County mm -hmm. for, for people to come out and help us get the word out about right. it. Mm -hmm. And if we could, uh, you know, obviously I guess we had a magic wand and we could hire 20 people, but that's not going to happen. So, uh -huh. um, but <laughs> we may. We, it may. Yeah. See, she just said it may. It may. <laughs> we, we, I think, I think we can, I think there's a really opportunity here for Douglas County to step up and shine. Yes. And, and, and this is, and it'll all be, uh, greatly enhanced by the, the number of people that show up and, and mm -hmm. want to participate and the efforts that we have and will have over the next year mm -hmm. of just dropping that information out there, working the program, mm -hmm. checking where we are and continuing to work forward to uh, the actual census day. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you have a great rollout. What is the absolute last day for everyone to be counted in the 2020 census? Uh, the census, the census day, which is the, which is this April the official last day, yes mm -hmm. ma'am, it's April 1st, even though it's mm -hmm. April 1st, it's no joke. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. It's uh, after that, that's when the canvassers really began in earnest. Okay. And then there's, there's a time window, and I, I got so much stuff in my head right now, but it's like there's a couple months where the canvassers operate, and then of course, then, then there's the... Uh, accumulation and collection and then mm -hmm. I think the census has to be turned into the, the president by December. Okay. December 31st. December uh -huh. 31st of next uh -huh. year. Uh -huh. On his desk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now when the uh, census representative was here, she talked a little bit about there may be an opportunity for Douglas County residents to have jobs with the yeah. census. So, yes, ma'am. Yeah, so that's, I think that's good to know. It's especially for our retired citizens who may want to um, make a few extra bucks mm -hmm. and um, yeah. for those you know who are in school like my girls my, my university college kids right. who <laughs> need to make money to stay out of mommy and daddy's pocket that may be a great a great way for them to do it and they get to get a chance to see you know democracy in action you know oh, yeah. yeah so yeah. that would be that would be good I believe uh, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Baptiste indicated that instead of hundreds Mm -hmm. uh, citizens would be hired. She said probably close to a thousand. A thousand and citizens I was in just, Douglas County. Yeah, so I was so wow. excited to hear that. That is. So, that would be great for our spots. Yeah, because you <laughs> have a thousand people spending money in Douglas County. Right. <laughs> that. Uh, 
Uh, there is some some information. I don't have it here in front of me, but mm -hmm. I guess we could probably put it on the on the in, on the screen or something mm -hmm. later to get mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the numbers to call to get that activity rolling mm -hmm. because there is a process where they fill out the application, and, yeah. and we are very excited about Douglas County residents counting themselves. Exactly, yes. exactly, and being involved in the process. Yeah. So, um, but of course, you can always Google. 2020 census jobs yeah. and Google is everybody's friend and it'll bring up all the information you need so I, I would definitely you know press the the, the issue of making sure that uh, if you want to be a part of it and you want to you want to get paid while doing it mm -hmm. why not Google it and, and join us right meet your neighbors meet your neighbors <laughs> that's it that's it well, I just want to thank you guys so much for for oh. coming in and, and sharing this with us this is um, really a huge effort. Uh, it, it really does dictate the dollars and the cents that we can yes. make change with in uh, Douglas yes. County. You know, absolutely. So, so that's why it's so important. So, thank you so much for coming out and sharing this with me and sharing this with the citizens. And uh, if they need any more information, they can always contact us at celebratedouglas.com. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's Thank count. You. Let's count. Let's count. <laughs> hey, hold up the shirts. You got to show them. Let's see awesome shirts. Let's count, Douglas County. Let's, Let's count. count, Douglas. Get out there. <laughs>